Hello and welcome to this basic function video about the MAG-1000 lawnmower blade balancer. The first requirement for the MAG-1000 is that it must be vertically mounted. Either it can be bolted uh, directly to a wall or, uh, as shown here on our stand, which provides you a real nice workstation with the balancer and sharpener in close proximity for greater efficiency. The MAG-1000 has two primary functions, one to check the straightness of mower blades, whether a blade is bent or not, and then to check the balance or give you a balance reading. Now, as with servicing any part, the first operation is to clean the part so that we can even inspect it if it's uh, able to be serviced. And uh, that goes without saying with a mower blade as well. So first, we would want a clean blade and then inspect it for any fractures. If the blade has any fractures, uh, discard it. Do not try welding uh, a mower blade. Now, once we've satisfied that there aren't any fractures, the first thing we'll check is the straightness. To mount a blade on the MAG-1000, locate the center hole on the cone and pull the magnetic chuck forward with your fingers. We'll rotate the blade vertically and touch the gauge rod to the back of the blade. We'll then rotate it 180 degrees to see the deviation from one side to the other to check if the blade is tracking in line or is straight. Now the instruction manual goes through this in, in greater detail and has a chart for the maximum allowable deviations and uh, the longer the blade the greater the deviation can be. But of course uh, as mentioned before with fractures with a mower blade do not try to rebend it back simply discard it if it's outside of the maximum tolerances. Next we'll move on to balancing and we'll start here with a out of balance blade. Again we mount it by locating the center uh, on the cone, pull the magnetic chuck forward and put it in the horizontal position and let go and you'll see very quickly that the heavy end rotates to six o'clock. This is the side that has more weight you would grind material off of the cutting edge to get the two sides in balance with each other. Now we'll demonstrate an in-balance blade. Again, mounting it, locating the center hole, connecting the magnetic chuck, holding it in the horizontal position and letting go. And here you can see the two halves of the blade, the right half to the left half, are of equal weight, so they are in balance, and there is no motion being imparted on the, on the blade or the balancer. As I mentioned before, of course, there's more detail in the instruction manuals, uh, but this concludes the video for the basic function of the MAG-1000 so that you have an understanding of how uh, it functions and is used. Thank you for watching.